Hey everybody, Buck coming to you here to explain to you how the pay plan really works. You know, uh, one of the things that you might want to do, you might want to grab a piece of paper, grab a pen, take some notes, and you're going to want to watch this video a couple of times because it's very important that you understand why Doobly really is one of the most lucrative pay plans that's ever been in the direct selling industry. So if any of you have been to any of our presentations, if you watch any of our webinars, been to any of our trainings, you know that we always break down Doobly into two parts especially when you're looking at the compensation plan. Because number one, what we have to look at is that there is the customer side, all right? And then we've also got the business side. Okay, so the first thing that we're always gonna hear us say is, when you're talking to someone about Doobly, are you talking about the left side of the line, which is the customer, or are you talking about the right side, which is the business? So let's talk about how we get paid on the customer side. The only number that we need to remember is 25%. Okay, what this means is, if any of you have heard us talk about the dairy farmer, the dairy farmer, as a lot of you know, he got started in Dubly and he started building customers, right? So let's say that this right here was you, and hopefully you are smiling today, and let's say that we did the same thing. Let's say that we brought in 300 customers, whether that's at a trade show, whether you're buying customers from Dubly, you know, through your church, a charity program, a nonprofit, whatever. Let's say that you got 300 customers. Well, these 300 customers, are either free, okay, so they could be free, they could be a premium, or they could be a VIP. Hopefully by now, we all know that a premium pays $4.95 a month, a VIP pays $99 a year. Well, 25% of $4.95 is roughly a dollar, and 25% of $99 is about $25. So that would mean that off these 300 customers, whether they were $4.95 or $99, that you would be getting paid 25%. Okay, now, that's just off the subscription. So remember, 25%, you get paid on the subscription. Then, we also get paid 25%, and I want you to write this word down, off commissionable revenue. Okay, commissionable revenue. What that means is for all these customers, let's say that they're traveling, let's say that they're shopping, let's say that they're buying entertainment through Doobly, or let's say they're using media, anything that they spend money on, we get paid, you guessed it, 25% of what's called commissionable revenue. And the easier way to think of that is what they save. Okay, so in a theoretical example, just to keep it simple, let's say Nordstrom's is paying cash back roughly uh, 10%, right? So you go to Nordstrom's and you spend $1,000 this year, Nordstrom's is gonna, you're from Dooley rather, you're gonna get back how much? About $100. Let's say that I was the one that brought you in as a customer, what is 25 percent of a hundred dollars. I would make about twenty-five dollars off of what you saved or what you got cash back by doing that. And again, when you understand this, 25% of subscription, 25% of commission revenue, this here by itself you can build an entire business off of. Because let's talk about the dairy farmer. These 300 customers turn into roughly 150,000 customers because Dooley is paying those VIP customers $20 to go out and get other customers. So some of these customers are probably free, some are probably premium, but I'm sure there's a lot of VIPs in there as well. Well, guess what? And all these 150,000 customers, if those were yours in this theoretical example, that would mean that you're making 25% off of everything that those 150,000 customers do. And when you get that, you'll find it hard to sleep. The second thing that we want to talk about is the business. Now, a lot of you that have been to our overviews notice that we talk about that there is a 5 to 27 and a half percent in what's called a unit level. And then we also talk about that there is a 2 to 5 percent in what is called a generational. So this is called a generational, and this is called a unit level. Okay, we're going to focus here on these two parts because I want you to understand how there are so many different ways that you can make money and do it. So for instance, number one, let's just talk about the business associate, okay? Let's just talk about being a business associate, okay? A business associate, okay, or a team member in North America, right, when you come in at 499, you become a BA slash team member, okay? Have you thought about that every time that we personally go out and get a $99 a year VIP customer, Okay, Dooley is actually paying us $45, so let me explain how that works. Number one is that on the customer side, we make $20. 
But on the business side, we're picking up $25. So let me explain how to do this. You, by now you know that you have a doobly.com website for the customer side and you have a doobly network website for the business side. So when you sign up a personal customer, so let's say that I sign up my friend Wendell. Okay, I send Wendell my doobly.com website. If he gets my link, because when you log into your doobly.com and you click refer a friend, you go to the bottom of that page, it says earn now. Okay, you click that button, they give you a link. So every one of you watching this has your own doobly.com link. When you send that link, or you can send an email directly from that spot, you're going to get $20 on this side as a customer, VIP, assuming they sign up for $99, and then on the business side, you're going to get $25. So in other words, we're able to help everyone go out and make $45 that's a business associate of every VIP customer. So again, Let's say that you got 10 VIP customers a month. That'd be $450. That's not a bad part-time, right? Let's say you got 10 VIP customers a week. That's $450 a week. That's a little under $2,000 a month. That's not a bad part-time just for doing what? Going out and getting VIP customers. And I don't have time in this video to show you the value of being a VIP customer. There's so much value in there between shopping, traveling, entertainment, media. It's ridiculous. Again, this is to show you how the pay plan works. But now, Let's break down how the pay plan works as far as getting promoted and getting rank advancement. So as you all know by now, we start off as what's called a team member. Okay, a team member starts off at 5%. Then we have what's called a team leader. A team leader is at 10%. Then we have what's called a team coordinator, which is at 15%. And then we've got a sales director, which is at 20%. All right, now, one of the things I want you to write down is that we all do the same thing, except the higher up we are, we make more money for doing the same thing, okay? By now, you probably are aware of that there's a rank called Vice President and Senior Vice President. Here, we pick up 25, and here, we pick up 27.5%. So if I was sitting down with each one of you, I would say, what would you rather make? 5, 10, or 27.5%, and come on, you're all saying, I'd rather have 27.5%. Okay, so how do we get promoted in these different ways of the, going to the rank advancement? Well, number one, to become a team member is pretty simple, right? Okay, we come in at $4.99, and then we do a VIP of $99. So you can come in, bare minimum, $4.99 to become a team member in North America, and the $99 will be a VIP, you're basically set up in the business and the customer side. Well, now we're picking up 5%. What that means is if you brought in someone that got started for roughly $500, you would pick up 5% of that. So that would be what? $25, right? This would be $50, $75 to $100 for each uh, team member that we're bringing in ourselves. Got it? Okay, so some of you are going, well, how do I go from team member to team leader? Well, number one, a lot of you that are watching this probably got started as a TLA, a team leader accelerator, because it made sense to you that you could start off at 10%. So a lot of business-minded people coming at the TLA because they go, you know what, I would rather make 10% than 5% besides the customers, besides all the other benefits of being a TLA. And if you want to do that, of course you can do that. Now, some people come in, they go, you know what, what I want to do is I want to go out and help three other people become a team member. By helping three to become a team member, you now are a team leader. Okay, well, how do you go team coordinator? You guessed it, as a team coordinator, you have to help three people become a what? A team leader. And to become a sales director, you guessed it, we have to help three people become a what? A team coordinator. Okay, so in a perfect world, to be a sales director, you would need three team coordinators that have nine team leaders that have 27 team members, right? So in other words, it would look something like this. So let's say this is you right here. And let's say you wanna be an SD. So that would mean you'd have three TCs, right? Which would mean they all would have what? They would have nine team leaders, which would mean that they would all have what? 27, making sure my lines are as good as possible here team members okay so again that would be 3 9 27 
Okay, so if any of you have a whiteboard, one of the things that you want to do is you want to have this mapped out in front of you or maybe on your phone. If you can draw little circles, you want to always know who your three, who your nine, who your 27 are. It's kind of like connect the dots or fill in the hole, whatever you want to call it, because this is the fastest way to a sales director by building it through team members. Now, if you do happen to bring in business people that get started at TLA, you can actually do it faster. If you brought in three TLAs that brought in nine TLAs, that would also make you a sales director, just so you know there's two different ways of doing it. So again, so understand that we always make the difference of in a unit level. So for instance, let's just say that I was a team leader, and let's say that you were a sales director, okay? What's the difference between 10 and 20 would be 10, right? So that would mean that this right here, you would pick up the 10% difference, okay? So if you were a sales director making 20%, and I was a team leader making 10%, I went out, and then I'm just trying to keep the math simple here. Let's just say that I went out and brought in 10 people that came in as a, as a builder, as a team member. Okay, well, it's roughly 5,000, right? Well, I would make 10% of that 5,000, and you would pick up the difference of 10 and 20, which would be 10. So basically, you made the same as I did because you're picking up the difference of. Make sense? Okay, so that's kind of how the unit level works. Okay, now, so again, we're not telling you that you should be a team member, team leader, team coordinator, sales director. We're just telling you what it takes to do that. If you don't know by now, to become a vice president, all you have to do is find five people, and it doesn't matter where they're at, that want to become sales directors. Okay, and as an SVP, all you have to do is find five people that want to become vice president. Now by now, if you're watching this video, my guess is you know that Dooley gives you a home and a actually give you the lot when you go vice president, they'll build the home for you vice president, and they give you the home free and clear once you're an SVP. Again, I've never seen that before in my 18 years. Okay, so this is how the unit level works. So a vice president, they don't have to be front level. It's just five different legs. Somewhere in one of those five legs, you've got a sales director as a vice president, and a senior vice president, five different legs. Somewhere you've got a vice president. Okay, so again, up to here, 3927, but once you go VP, SVP, it doesn't have to be front level, it can be anywhere. Okay, so that's the unit level. Now let's talk about the generational. The generational starts at team coordinator. So as a team coordinator, they give us what's called 2%. Sales director, they give us 3%. Vice president, they give us 5%. And senior vice president, 2.5%. Now let me explain why this is very significant. Because a lot of you that are new maybe don't understand the power of a generation versus a level. Most people, when they talk in direct sales, they talk levels, like level one, two, three. Okay, when you look at this pay plan, you have to think in generation. Okay, so what that means is, think if I had a string of pearls here, like obviously I don't wear a pearl necklace, let's say that I did, and I took it off, and let's say that there was like a big string of pearls. Okay, I want you to imagine the top pearl is you. Okay, and watch what happens here. So as a team coordinator, this is you. It's going to find the next team coordinator. So in other words, you could have 50 or 100 people in between here like a string of pearls, and then it finds the next team coordinator. Right? So you're a team coordinator. It's going to find it to the next team coordinator, and that's what's called first generation. So you could have three people, or you could have 3,000. The computer is going to look down the string of pearls, and then once it finds the next team coordinator, boom, it's going to stop it. It's going to add up all that volume and give you 2%. Okay, as a sales director, okay, what it does is it goes to two. So this right here is you. Let's say you're a sales director. So it's going to go here, and then it's going to go to here. So again, let's say that generation one here, let's say that this was 100 people, and let's say generation two was 1,000 people. It would take that 1,100 people in one big string of pearls and it would find the second one that's 1,100 people down. It would take all that volume and it would give you 3%. Okay, so when you see in an overview the percentage, it doesn't look that exciting. But when you understand what generational means, you understand why it's very exciting. Then as a VP, it goes three. Okay, so right here, it goes from VP to VP to VP. To VP. So let's say that this year from vice president to vice president was 500, and let's say that this was 1,000, and let's say that this was another 500. Do you understand how much time it would take to get three vice presidents in one leg? 
We're the fastest growing team in North America, and we've broke uh, uh, five, almost six sales directors in our team. Okay, right now, uh, I'm on the verge of going vice president. I'm basically one leg away. We've got people on our team right now that are running for vice president. Okay, so to get three in one leg, talk to some of the leadership. They'll tell you that um, basically that's the closest thing there is to infinity. Okay, so if you took the 500, so again, think of the string of pearls. So your vice president to first vice president would be 500. To the second vice president would be 1,000. To the third vice president would be another 500. It would take all 2,000 people and it would add it up and give you 5% of that. Okay, so I want you to think about the significance of getting 5% off three vice presidents deep. Okay, this is huge. Okay, then as a sale and as senior vice president, it goes to two. So in other words, if you were an SVP, it would take you to another string of pearls again. So again, SVP guys, there's only a handful of SVPs in the world. <laughs> so what do you think it would take to get two SVPs in your one leg? I mean, are you kidding me? Again, that's the closest thing there is to infinity. So again, this 2%, 3%, 5%, and 2.5% may not seem like a lot when you first hear the percentages in your first overview, but when you understand compounding and you understand generation, you understand that you're getting 2% from your first generation TC or sales director, not one, two sales directors deep, or vice president, not one, two, but three vice presidents deep. And again, SVP, this is monumental. When you understand numbers, you understand compounding, and you understand the difference between generation versus a level. So when you take this over here, making money on the customers, okay, that 25% off every subscription, off of every uh, commissional revenue, no matter how many there are. What if this was a million customers? You're still making the same 25%, and you understand that this here, we can get people making fast money by somebody signing up VIPs, making them $45.99. Can you think of a career right now that you can collect $99 in, and they'll pay you $45 or 45%? Okay? And then you understand this unilateral with this generational, when you really get this, like I said in the beginning, you're going to find it very, very hard to sleep at night. So when you take all these pieces together and you understand this pay plan, that's the reason why we're pushing so hard to help a lot of you watching this get promoted. We want you picking up the majority of this money. If we didn't want you making money, why would we show you this? We want you, remember Jerry McGuire, help me help you? We're trying to help you right now. We want to get you promoted through these ranks as fast as possible because we know the more money you make, the more stable you are, the more stable you are, the better your group is, and the whole thing just grows from there. Dubly will become a household name within the next two to three years because everyone that you know is already doubling. I just came up with that, by the way. They don't know that they're already doing it. They're already traveling through Expedia, Priceline, Orbitz, Travelocity. They're already going to Nike, Nordstrom's, uh, Sam's Club. They're already going to all these places, right? They're already doing it. They're already all buying music and movies online. We're all used Netflix already. So why not do it through Dubly? Help customers get cash back. We get paid to help them and then help other builders get what they want out of Dooley. One of the things I was told in the very beginning of my career is that if you can help five people get what they want out of life, you'll never have to worry what you want and how I want it to be a VP or SVP. How many people do you have to have help? Five. Look forward to meeting you in person, plug into the system, and we'll see you at the top.